Thank you very much. Well, what are the causes of the crisis we're dealing with at the moment? Well, as Christian Democrats, we were always in favour of a social market economy. And what have we found out, what have we established, is that there was a lot of economies, there's been a lot of economies in the past, but not enough social. Too much market, not enough social. And so from um, our point of view, we have worked with our colleagues and have always pleaded, advocated in favour of the social of the social role, social dialogue, and that that needed to be guaranteed. That's my first point. And the second cause of the crisis, well, I can give you a couple of examples. In Holland, for example, we've got a very low level of unemployment. Why is that the case? Well, we've got low unemployment because we have always made structural reforms where our budget, where our state budget has always been kept in balance. And what you now see is that in countries where there haven't been a good or rational budget policy, that that has led to enormous unemployment, particularly among the young people. That people obviously are saving. I mean, I'm very sorry to see again that, or to see that in Greece, we have to cut on the minimum salary, the minimum wage. But whose fault is it? Well, it's not the poor people who are to be blamed for it, but all of the politicians um, who actually thought that, you know, they had discovered a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Now, we made the mistakes, and now what we have to say is that we n need not to simply f repair these faults. That's completely wrong. What we now need to do is to create a policy, a budget policy control. We need a policy where we do make savings and reductions, and we need policy where we make reform on the labour market. And it's true, there are reforms on the labour market where I myself do not agree. Now, what uh, was happening in German, in fact, as usual with the social document, was Hartz IV. What do you do with Hartz IV? Hartz IV does distort the internal market. Well, why is that the case? Well, because when I am working and I don't have a minimum wage, then with the uh, little income that I've got, uh, I have to go to the social offices because I need to get a little bit more money. That means that I am distorting the market, and that's because competitiveness, because my capacity to compete on the market will be improved because the state gives me money. And actually work ends up costing less. But that isn't the right approach. We have to bring this into a degree of harmony, coherence. And for me, what does that mean? That means labour market reform, and it's also to make sure to look after the possibility of creating more flexibility. But flexibility also in terms of also providing social guarantees. And I think the most important thing that we have to do is that. Now, uh, my colleague Elizabeth is here today, and the question is how are we going to do this as Christian Democrats? How in our group are we going to push forward this idea? Now, we mustn't close our eyes to the reality of what's happening. Society is changing. 
And that's also the case in France, it's the case in Greece, it's the case in Spain. Everywhere society is changing. How is it changing? Well, that means that what we've got is we have got a demographic change in society. And this demographic change that we're dealing with is um, something we have to administer, we have to manage through discussion, through dialogue. Uh, for example, we have to allow longer work periods. We have to work for longer. And in some countries, that actually isn't happening. Now, uh, Herr Lendorf, where you said that we can't just have austerity measures, it just shouldn't be just about cutting the budgets all the time. I say, well, you're right on that. But when we're reducing the budget, nevertheless, have to be undertaken in order to get out of the crisis, in order to ensure that we get out of the crisis, but as part of that process, we also have to ensure that there are the appropriate reforms that are needed. We have to get people back up on their feet, up on their own feet, so they can work. Uh, not to um, put that on the account of individual member states' budgets, but put it onto the European budget. There are 80 billion which are currently available which could be used, and where the richer countries, and uh, that includes Germany, that includes the Netherlands, amongst the richer countries, that they can put a budget for the disposal and the availability for other countries. Now, so we need to talk about it. We need the money. We also need, for example, if I look at Spain or I look at Greece, we also need to ensure that the uh, structural funds have to be uh, used in a better way. And perhaps in that point of view, the European Union, we also want to say what I'm sure we'll all agree here is uh, not necessarily everything that has already been put forward by the European Union. So austerity measures, budget balanced, but also make sure that the uh, structure of the labour market is reformed in order to reduce unemployment. And that is something we can also help at the European level to achieve.